डिजिटल कन्वर्टर इन दिस लेक्चर विल सी अ लिटिल बिट ऑन एनालॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर और एडी फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट से यू हैव अ हार्ट बीट ऑफ ह्यूमन हार्ट विच इज टिपिकली सेवेंटी टू बीट्स पर सेकेंड और सिक्सटी बीट्स पर सेकेंड वी ट्राई टू प्लेस योर हार्ट बीट ऑन अ ग्राफ ग्रिड एंड ट्राई टू टेक सैम्पल्स और पॉइंट्स वेर एग्जैक्टली इट क्रॉसेज द वर्टिकल लाइन्स और द वाई एक्सिस लाइन्स If you consider this particular grid, and you try to point, as the grid being uh, not that deep or like not that fine, lines are a little bit apart, and if you try to point put the points and try to connect them back, you'll be able to see a signal which is not exactly same as the input signal. That means the reconstruction is not proper. And take the same signal now, and you take a graph which is more precise, which is having too many number of points. Now you try to point out the take out samples of each vertical line. Be able to sample it very much properly, which means even if you remove your input signal and try to plot joining the lines, you'll see a much precise and much perfect ECG signal. This is what we call as reconstruction. So the main aim of the uh, ADC is to convert an analog signal into a digital equivalent, so that it can it can be reconstructed back also. the so main important terms when you see about adc are like what is the input signal frequency and what is the sampling rate of the adc because if suppose your input signal frequency is around 100 hertz and if you sample at the same rate as like we have done in prior in the example shown you will not be able to reconstruct it properly so for which we have to follow the nyquist rate nyquist rate says that the sampling rate should be two times of your input signal input signal frequency so with which you will be able to reconstruct the signal analog signal back and uh, one more important parameter is the resolution of adc that means how many number of bits you are using to represent your analog signal into a digital equivalent for example a 10 bit adc is there the final uh, like maximum value you can go is like 2 power 10 minus 1 so it's like around 1024 minus 1 1023 now we shall see a little bit on adc math uh, for example your v reference is 1 volt and v input is 0.5 volt and you have a adc which is having a resolution of 10 bit so maximum value you can go for is 2 power 10 minus 1 it will be 1023 sorry for the typo and now finding the digital equivalent how would you find out a digital equivalent uh, you'll just divide your input with the v reference and you'll multiply with the full scale You will get the equivalent digital value. And how would you find an uh, analog value? That is uh, the same. The, you, you can do the reverse math, where you divide your V reference value by your total values, which can come, which gives you the precision of a single bit. And you multiply it with the digital equivalent, you will get the input voltage. Coming to ADC pin of node MCU, uh, the ADC pin on node MCU is exactly located. on the left side of your pcb antenna which is named as a not a not is the name given on node mcu board now if you see the schematic of adc input how it is connected to the a not pin is like the the a not pin input will be coming to adc external through a voltage divider it will go to the t out pin of esp8266 now esp8266 has a input voltage range of 0.1 uh, volt only because of this voltage divider you can increase it to 3.3 because even if you give an external voltage of 3.3 volts because of the voltage divider it will get divided by 100k by 100k plus 200k this is a normal voltage divider formula a fraction of input voltage will be going to the esp8266 board now coming to what kind of adc is inside your esp8266 successive approximation register type adc which mainly contains a sample and hole circuit a comparator a dac and a ser dac is nothing but a digital to analog converter which give you at an analog value now, when input comes to sample and hole circuit it will be sampled at a rate and it's given to comparator dac gives you out an approximate 
digital approximate value and that gives you an analog input now this analog input and your actual input are compared at the comparator it's given to sar now sar checks whether the comparator value is nearby to the digital value or not if it is nearby it will stop comparison if it is not nearby or which is greater it will increase the digital value if it is lesser it will decrease the digital value based on increase or decrease of digital value you will get an corresponding analog value now again it is compared with your vn now up after a few approximations you will find the proper digital value yeah as like in the previous project i just created a new project and uh, imported machine and in the main loop i have created a module uh, in which the main loop has a while function while true it's a continuous loop an infinite loop from the machine module i utilized the function called adc i just mentioned which number of adc adc 0 and i just try to use this adc object dot read which will give me out what is the adc value which is currently at the pin now i'll just run it i see some problem no python interpreter no python interpreter support requires 3.5 sdk maybe my pycharm did not actually cache the interpreter because i have updated my pycharm yeah now it's okay yeah they are gone now let me run my program yeah everything is fine i was able to do it now let me open my putty what i'm seeing yeah i'm seeing a value 1024 why because i have connected the node mcu in such a way that the a node pin is directly shorted to 3.3 volt now let me see some other thing what i'll do is i'll just remove it and connect it to ground i just removed it now the pin is floating you can see some garbage values coming in as because the pin is floating so it will be like numerous uh, analog values will be at the input yeah now i shorted it to ground still i am seeing a minimum value this is the minimum value that it can be measured i think hope this explains you very well to how to use the adc which is on board for your analog sensors thanks